In order to add an activity, you're going to go over to this little blue guy and click on it. Now you'll have a bunch of different activities, some like a fill in the blank one that you can create. The flip art is a flashcard one. Uh, there's label reveal. There's many different kinds. The response is basically the assessments up here. So it's basically the same thing. Now the monster quiz, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. This one's a little bit different than some of the others because you work in teams and you're kind of racing to answer them. The multiple choice or true false questions are the two types that you can do with this activity. I'm gonna go ahead and click on multiple choice. It's going to have you type in your question and then you will type in your answers and then you will select what your correct answer is and you'll go ahead and add any questions that you have. So if you want to change it to multiple false and then you can type in your question, mark which one is correct and then add another question and you're going to continue doing that until you're completely done and you can click next. You can look at all the questions you have listed here and your answers. You can change the time limit per question over here on the right. If you're like, oh, I messed up, you can go ahead and click previous and go back and change any of the questions that you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and click next and finish. So it's gonna set up your monster quiz in here. Now I can go ahead and on this one I can click start. Now remember if you have looked at assessments you just click over here. I'm going to go ahead and click start. It's going to give you the website that the kids need to go to and their class ID. That space just makes it easier to read. They do not have to put a space in there. So the device could be a phone or a tablet or a computer and when they get that they're going to join as a guest they're going to type in their class id and click next then they will type in their name and then click join as a guest and they will show up then in your course so then you'll have your students listed that you have you can divide into teams so you can choose how many teams and now depending on the number of students you have in there obviously the number of teams will change so I'm going to go ahead and click two so each person that I have will be on a team now if you have multiple people you'll just go in and you can move around who's on what team when you're finished assigning teams you're gonna click start quiz And then the teams will answer the questions. So here it tells you what your winning, who the winning team is. You can review the questions. Here's team one, how they did. Here's team two. So these are the, it tells you who got the answer correct the first time. Now it does, on the quiz, it does let you continue to answer the questions in your groups. I'm gonna go ahead and click class review. Class review will show you the correct answers for each question so the students can then look again at their answers. You can go back to the team scoreboard if you want. You can scroll up and down if there's more questions. Now to at the end you're going to go ahead and click on this little phone and you can click end if you're done. Um, sometimes if you need to open up the big screen To maybe start a, a thing again and to show them how to log in you can click on that little arrow up here on the left and that's what opens up your big screen you can remove all students to clear out your students to start over for a new class if you have different students each activity is going to be different so you can choose a different activity so like this one could be a flashcard activity and so notice how it, it, it looks different than the other. You can put in a text or an image and this is what that face card 
is going to look like facing up. Okay. Once you add all of your questions, you go, can go ahead and hit next. Now you can pick your theme that you want. It's going to load your activity. Now you can have your students join. So here is your cell phone icon so they can add a device and join. So you click that to open up just like before. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now the other option on some of these is the star. This means you can select a game element. So you could add in buzzers to decide who goes next. A randomizer selects a student name to go next. Um, and the timer selects a time for completing the activity. So you can add these elements game elements in here. So there we notice the timers up there on top. So like the randomizer and the buzzer stuff, you might want to do that after your students have joined. When the students either come up individually and do their answers, um, you can click, then you would see what, oh, that's what the flag looks like. Or you could do it the reverse where the picture would be on the, the front and then the word would be on the back.